it's all it's just hanging on for dear life it's nothing rich and expensive looking about that we hey ladies did you miss me i know that you did this is part two of how to look rich and expensive on a budget if you missed part one it's linked in the description box below i'm not gonna waste any time let's just get right into it so every woman needs a signature fragrance. You know, like when you walk out of a room, like people should know that you were there. And not in a bad way, in a good way. They should be able to say like, oh, Tasha was just in here or Sarah was just in here or you know, whatever my bestie's name is. Like people should recognize a smell and associate your name with it. Every woman needs a signature fragrance, but that can be kind of difficult to like pinpoint what really works for your body chemistry and i don't want you girls like running all over town accumulating debt buying all these perfumes and figuring out like this is not the one so the best way to do that you can visit i don't know where you're from or where you are but you can visit department stores like nordstrom's Saks fifth avenue damien marcus and sephora does this as well you are entitled to yes you are you are entitled to free samples right you can take those free samples home wear them and when i say wear them i don't mean just dab them on smell them okay and say okay this is the one no you're gonna wear it all day you no know, your body chemistry changes the way that a perfume smells on you so now when you try this method you'll solidify one fragrance that is for you and that's going to be your signature fragrance make sure that you watch this video to the end because i have so many gems that i am dropping and this next one is a top tier tip Altering your clothes can make the difference between an outfit that you absolutely hate and an outfit that you absolutely love. Altering your clothes gives a more tailored vibe, right? This is definitely gonna make you look rich and expensive on a budget and it does not cost that much, right? Altering a pair of jeans costs between anywhere between eight and $15. So that's really not that much when you think about it because after that piece is altered, it is really going to look like it was made just for you. When we're shopping, whether we're doing that online or in person, we have to keep in mind that clothing is mass produced, right? A particular pair of jeans is not specifically manufactured for yourself or for me, right? It is for the masses. My body type is going to be different from your body type, but we are wearing the same pair of jeans. So that's where altering your clothes comes into place because you want your pieces tailored to your particular body. Altering your clothes is definitely a must when you're going for that more expensive look because the clothes just look tailored to your body. So for example, this works good when you are buying sets. A set comes in small, medium, large, large, 2X, whatever, right? So for me, I always buy large and whatever two-piece set that I purchase, but it does not quite work out for my body type, right? I'm a little bit more heavier on the top and smaller on the bottom. So while the large may fit my top area, it's always, it's always 100% too big for the bottom and it does not and it just doesn't flow, it doesn't look good. So I almost always get the bottom alt. So then in turn, it literally just makes the outfit fit like a glove on my body. And it has a more tailored for me type of vibe. In another one of my videos, I talked about how to look put together. And a part of that was planning your outfits for the week so that when you wake up in the morning, you are already prepared, you're ready to go. You're not scrambling, scrambling around for your look, therefore going outside, just looking a mess. So we're going to build on that and add in planning out your lazy day or your errand day outfit, right? You know, on the weekends, we're running to Target, we're running to Walmart, whatever it is we do on those lazy days, you know, where we tend to just throw on a t-shirt and joggers and we're just putting caution to the wind. We're just out there, right? We're going to kick our look up. We're going to elevate our style and we're going to plan that outfit out and we're just going to put it to the side. As a matter of fact, we're going to do two. Because, you know, in the wintertime, <laughs> lazy days, it's a lot of them. The whole weekend might be a lazy day. So we're going to dedicate two outfits that are going to be only for lazy days or chill or errand days, whatever you want to call them. I mean, you're going to put together your accessories, your sneakers, whatever it is you decide to wear. And you're going to make it chic, right? We're not going to tone it down. We're not going to look a mess. We're still going to look rich and sophisticated and expensive and elegant, right? We're gonna take those two outfits, put them to the side. So when we come across one of those days, we are ready to go and we can keep our expensive aesthetic going. 
I absolutely love accessories and I think gold tone accessories are everything. I feel like I don't really buy silver accessories as much as gold because I feel like gold accessories just really give you an expensive look. Like, I don't know. We can talk about this in the comments. You can disagree. We can chit chat about it, but this is up there with my tips because it can be cheap jewelry, but gold makes it look expensive. Think about it, right? You can grab a pair of earrings. Like I do this all the time because I literally lose earrings. I'll grab a pair of cheap earrings at a Target. They're like $9, right? People will ask, they will stop me and ask me about the earrings because it's the way that I put it together. And that gold accessory really pops. Gold accessories are a thing. I suggest that you invest in multiple pieces of gold tone jewelry. You don't have to break the bank. I mean, there are so many different places that have gold tone jewelry that look really good. There's Amazon, there's Target, there's Zara. You can literally just open up your computer and type in gold tone accessory, cheap gold tone accessories, and you're gonna come up with something, right? You can even hop on Instagram and put it in the search bar, and there's so many like small companies that have really amazing cheap gold tone jewelry. I do know a few, I'm gonna drop them down in the description box below, but gold tone accessories just really pop. I feel like they give us that expensive vibe that we're going for and you don't have to break the bank doing it. So we're discussing looking rich and expensive on a budget. I wanna talk about some pieces in our wardrobe, specifically timeless pieces over trendy pieces. When we're going for a certain aesthetic, I feel like we need to stick to the timeless pieces. Trendy pieces just do not translate over to looking rich and expensive, right? Because sometimes trends can be too loud, they can be too colorful. I mean, not saying not to do that, but today we're talking about looking rich and expensive. So we're gonna stick to timeless pieces, timeless colors that are not trends. And it's okay to dabble in trends. I can look classic one day and trendy the next. I mean, I feel like I am a chameleon. We are all chameleons. It's okay to look different. It's okay to switch it up. It's fashion. It's whatever you make it. But when I'm going for a certain aesthetic, I'm gonna stick to my timeless pieces, you know, maybe like a white button down shirt, black slacks. You feel the vibe that I'm going for. We don't wanna go with the colorful trends. We don't wanna go crazy with logos and let's get to that. So while we're staying away from trendy pieces, when we're looking rich and expensive, we wanna stay away from a lot of logos, right? Logos to me just look, I don't know. Sometimes it looks a little tacky and I'm not saying like one printed shirt. I'm saying like when you see people and I mean the shirt is like Gucci print, the pants are Gucci print, the shoes, I mean it's just logo mania. That does not translate to looking rich and expensive on a budget. That translates to overload, spending too much money in the outfit and looking crazy. But in all seriousness, if you do wear logos, when we are looking rich and expensive on a budget, we just wanna tone it down a lot and maybe stick to one item that you have on that has a logo and not too much. I have this other rule that I try to utilize and that's not showing too much skin. I think that showing too much skin does not look expensive. It does not look rich. It is not that luxurious vibe. I just think it's just tacky to be honest. So I try to go by this rule, whereas if I have a shoulder out or you know both shoulders out or something like that, or I'm showing a lot of cleavage that I'm covering my legs and vice versa. If I'm gonna wear maybe an evening gown and I have a long slit, I'm gonna try to be super modest on the top to balance everything out. I just think that too much skin is just, it's not sexy anymore. I mean, maybe at one point it was, but I think more just having more clothes on looks more sexy sometimes like do you agree like you can be it can be two women right and one is dressed like scantily clad she has on nothing and it might be something simple but it's just so much skin out that that's all you pay attention to whereas you can have another woman who is fully dressed from head to toe head to toe nothing is showing but it's all about the illusion of what's underneath right y'all get where i'm going with that right i just feel like more is better sometimes you know i just like to follow that rule not too much skin especially when i'm going for that 
rich and classy aesthetic vibe. I just want to make sure that I'm not showing too much skin. But this rule does not apply when you're on vacation because on vacation, you should be on a beach somewhere, getting a suntan and everything should be out, okay? And this is one of my favorite things to wear, especially when I want to look rich and expensive and that is wearing a brooch. Now, I'm not talking about your granny's brooch that she wear to church and you like, girl, that's not it, no. There are a lot of cute brooches out there. A lot of designers make really, really cute dainty brooches that you can put on with a button down shirt, a cardigan. You can even put brooches on top of your coats. Like I really, really am in love with brooches. We don't want to break the bank with these brooches. There's always nice designer dupe brooches out there or just regular brooches out there that you can find online. Particularly, I have some link down in the description box from Amazon, some designer dupes and just some regular brooches that, that would accent a couple of pieces in your wardrobe that would give you that rich and luxurious vibe that you're going for. I am literally the blazer queen. This is not something that I've been doing for a super long time, but I think like four, maybe five seasons ago, I don't know, like a light bulb went off and I became a blazer person. And I feel like a blazer is a must have in your wardrobe if you are going for that rich aesthetic vibe. I'm telling you, like you definitely need a black faux leather blazer and just a regular wool black blazer. It's gonna take any outfit that you have from like looking just basic, it's gonna elevate that to looking rich and expensive, right? And you can find a blazer H&M, Zara, I mean, everybody has a blazer. Blazers never go out of style. Seriously, when has a blazer went out of style? Never, right? They are timeless and they come in a multitude of colors. But I think that if this is your first blazer and you're going for that rich aesthetic vibe, you definitely need to stick to like neutral tones, browns, but black. Black should be your first blazer. Fashion is not about what you have on. It's all about too, how you carry yourself when you wear those items, right? So for example, I remember my first ever blazer. I don't know what, whenever I started my like blazer journey, I got this blazer from Zara. It was a faux leather blazer, very nicely clean, looking blazer and I got it tailored just a tad bit because again, I'm top heavy. And when I wore this blazer, people kept thinking that this blazer was Balmain. I'm serious and I'm like, uh, no, this blazer is from Zara. But that goes to show you that how you carry yourself and how you wear your items, how you present yourself to the world, people don't know if it's cheap or expensive. I'm gonna give you one last tip with the blazer too to take it to the next level and that's to change the buttons on the blazer. You can find buttons at a vintage shop. I love to go to vintage shops. I'm in Chicago so there's so many. To shop at vintage shops because they usually have really nice buttons. Like I don't even know where I got this idea from but I don't know, I just do it, right? I take the buttons off my blazer and I get them replaced. It just gives the blazer a different vibe, right? And then that way, when you wear the blazer, nobody can really identify where the blazer is from. So if you and your friend have the same blazer from Zara or Nordstrom or wherever it is you shop, yours is gonna look completely different because when you look at the buttons, it's gonna be totally different and it's gonna give it a different vibe. Because sometimes too, when you buy these blazers, some of the buttons might be a little bit too cheap looking. They might be, the gold tone might be a little bit too bright and it comes up and it comes off as a little bit of like a thumbs down. But if you just take those buttons off, find you some good vintage buttons or you can go on Amazon and find some buttons. You can go on Etsy and find buttons, just switch it up and make that blazer like a huge wardrobe staple and take it to that expensive, rich looking aesthetic that we're going for. Not Some of us are not dressing for our body type and that's okay because down below in the description box, I have a little freebie. It's how to figure out your body type. So then when we're taking all of these tips into consideration, we are also dressing for our body type. It's super free, click on it and it will be in your inbox in five seconds. You might not like this. We're talking about looking rich and expensive on a budget. And you may not follow where I'm going with this one, but I need you to, and it's working out. Yes, my tip is working out. And some of you might, and, and, and stop, because some of you might feel the urge to click off, but we're not clicking off, we're gonna listen. But we need to keep in mind that looking rich and expensive while it's an aesthetic, we also need to prioritize our health because that is priceless, right? And that is very important to me. So I'm gonna give that tip to you is to work out. We have to work on our, 
we have to work on our health. We have to get some cardio in. We have to get some cardio in. We have to exercise. You may not want to hear this, but that is also in the aesthetic of how to look like something, right? You came to this video because you wanna know how to look rich and expensive on a budget, but guess what? Your health is priceless, okay? And it is free to work out. It is free to go walk in a park or walk down the street. I just wanted to talk about that briefly because that also plays into our mental well-being, right? Just feeling good from the inside out. We just wanna place a huge priority on how we feel about ourselves, not only how we look, but how we feel about ourselves and taking time, right? So this is another one of my tips is prioritizing yourself. We can implement all these tips into our daily lives, but if we do not prioritize ourselves to feel good about what we're doing and to have the energy to put into these things and to do them, then we are losing. We're gonna make sure as moms, as caregivers, that we are prioritizing ourselves above all. So to look rich and expensive, you definitely have to prioritize your health and yourself. Because baby, if you look good, you're gonna feel good. I say this all the time, if you look good, you're going to feel good. If you, stay, if you wanna stay tuned to my boutique, which is Shop 500 Boutique located here in Chicago, if you wanna stay in tune to new arrivals in combination with YouTube video drops, go ahead and sign up in the description box below to my website, Shop 500 Boutique, and you can add yourself on to my email list and you won't miss a beat. So looking rich and expensive on a budget, I left this out of the last video, so I definitely want to go back and add that. And that is taking care of our feet. That may seem really silly, but you know how many times I see people like they have on nice outfits, they look very put together, and then I look down at their feet and the fingernail polish is it's all, it's just hanging on for dear life. It's nothing rich and expensive looking about that. We have got to take care of our feet. There is no reason why you don't have a good bottle of nail polish and nail polish remover on hand, right? Fingernail polish is like six bucks. You can't get to the salon. You can't get to the nail salon or whatever. You're going to paint them yourself. We're gonna keep our feet up. It's just like, that is just, that is a non-negotiable. Your feet are very important, especially in the summertime. You have on a beautiful outfit. I wanna see beautifully painted feet. I do not wanna see ashy, unkept feet with fingernail polish that it's, it's been on there for some time. It's been a couple of months and you just, you just decided, I don't care. Well, I care, and we're trying to look rich and expensive on a budget, we're gonna do those feet. I'm all about making things economical when you know the coins are low. You can go to Amazon and get a little pedicure bowl for literally like $20, or you can run some water in that tub with some Epsom salt, soak those feet so they're not ashy, they're not crusty, get you a bottle of fingernail polish and paint those toenails. Like, it's just no reason why we should have busted feet. So listen, if, I don't, if I'm not telling you anything else, you better keep those toes together. I am the queen of planning things, right? Even down to my maintenance schedule. So this is my tip for you and I want you to listen. So to look rich and expensive, whether it's on a budget or not, okay? We wanna have a schedule. I love writing everything down for the entire week so that I don't miss a beat. And you're probably wondering, what does this got to do with looking rich and expensive on a budget? Because you're gonna make yourself a maintenance schedule. You always wanna look rich and expensive and put together, you have to have some type of schedule. So when your hair, it's time to get your hair done, you have a schedule for that. When it's time to get your nails done or do them yourself, your feet, if you have to go into a salon or do them yourself, you can make your appointment or do it yourself at home, schedule time for that. It's already planned out. When you're trying to achieve a certain look, all it's about is planning, properly planning. You can learn all these tips, but if you don't properly plan them and implement them, it means nothing. So for me, maintaining a schedule to do all of these things is very important. It literally takes five minutes, right? It takes five minutes to plan something out on paper, whether you do it in a journal or just on a piece of paper and write the days of the week on the piece of paper. It's just easier to keep up with life. It's easy to keep up with your aesthetic and it's just easier to feel good about yourself and feel like you are executing everything throughout the week that you need to do because you've planned it out and you're checking those things off as you're getting them done. But we're looking rich and expensive on the budget. We wanna maintain a maintenance schedule for our looks. If you like this video, please check out the next one and check out all of my other videos in my catalog. 
let's get locked in. Make sure you subscribe to my email list. You grab a freebie, you watch my other videos, and you stay locked in. And until the next video, I love you so much, girl. Bye.